Lightweight versus heavyweight. One of the most common debates in bodybuilding. One moment you hear that you need to lift heavy in order to grow, you try that, then your face starts turning red with a terrible form and after finally finishing with your third set, you start noticing a guy getting significantly better results than you, but with lightweight. Which brings us to this question, should you use lightweight or heavyweight? In today's video, we're answering this question as well as how to use that weight for best results. And we're backing it up with science, so let's get to it. It's been spread over time amongst most lifters that incorporating lighter weight with higher reps, usually around 12 or more, benefits only your endurance and nothing about building muscle mass, also known as hypertrophy. But a 2017 meta-analysis review by Dr. Seanfield shows that muscle hypertrophy, aka muscle growth, can be achieved irregardless of the type of load range, meaning irregardless of the one rep max you are using, which is what we need to understand in order to help us answer this question. A one rep max is the amount of maximum weight one can lift only once. And this is measured in percentage, meaning if during an exercise you are using around 80% of your one rep max, you are using weight that's just heavy enough to give you around 7 to 8 reps and no more. Where else, if the weight that you're using takes you to 100% one rep max, that simply means that specific weight allows you to hit only one rep because it's just so heavy. But seeing this review, does this mean you can now curl any lightweight with any rep count and suddenly look like Henry Cavill in Superman? Obviously not. Let's keep in mind that the key here is training to failure and trying to achieve this with lightweight and a high rep range before you become completely fatigued is most unlikely and not everyone has the stamina to hit 80 reps with lightweight during squats before getting wiped out which is stupid yeah but high reps are also a good way to stimulate muscle growth and yes that is correct you can and definitely should also get into the high rep ranges but for specific exercises like bicep curls leg extensions lying leg curls lateral raises and so forth and with that being said not a rep range that's ridiculously high as this will eventually start to get uncomfortable even leading to throwing up due to the fact that it's just too much we'll cover the best reps and sets later in this video on the flip side training with an extremely low rep range is also not ideal because that would mean you are using close to 100 percent one rep max during your workout meaning the weight is so heavy that you end up cheating on the form itself or even worse gradually destroying those joints because of the excessive stress on the joints and connective tissues if you're going to train heavy and know that your body is more susceptible to injuries and struggles with pains in your joints then avoiding low rep training or a very high one rep max might be ideal now with all this information in mind how then do you personally train in order to elicit more muscle growth and maximize your results well basically in order to achieve muscle growth with light weight as with heavy to moderate weight you need to sustain equal intensity or volume meaning enough weight reps and sets in order to take you to failure how do we achieve this periodization this is where you'll be switching your rep ranges every week or three to four weeks so essentially you'll be picking a rep range that you'll stick to for about three to four weeks for instance if you pick heavyweight lifting that makes you hit failure at three to eight reps then during the next three to four weeks you should pick a lighter weight that lets you hit failure at 8 to 12 reps then on the last three to four weeks you pick an even lighter weight than the one before that lets you hit failure at 12 to 20 reps then when you reset the cycle aim to hit higher reps than before within each rep range another way is to incorporate drop sets usually a good rep range for hypertrophy is around 6 to 12 reps to failure this is a good mix between heavy and lightweight and stimulates muscle growth through different pathways such as metabolic buildup and mechanical tension. The best way to arrange this would be to start with heavy weight within the 6 to 12 range as this stimulates mechanical tension 
then finish off with light weight by utilizing drop sets or adding a few sets of high 20 to 30 rep range towards the end of your workout in order to cover the metabolic stress mechanism of muscle growth. These two mechanisms are the main mechanisms for muscle growth, that is mechanical tension and metabolic stress. The mechanical tension is induced when lifting heavy weight and metabolic stress is induced when lifting light weight with high reps. Basically, inducing one will automatically lower the other, hence the reason why you'll still see muscle growth when training with either light or heavy weight, as these are equated by workout volume and not by the type of mechanism. Therefore, in simple terms, the best solution for maximized muscle growth is to target both mechanisms. By training with both light and heavy weights with things like drop sets, high rep ranges towards the end of your workout and periodizations. Final conclusion, which weight is best for muscle growth, lightweight or heavyweight? The answer is both of them used in your workout sessions will yield best results, provided that they are used as explained in this video. The real key here is keeping your muscle under tension consistently while maintaining the correct form. That's it guys, thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again on the next video.